guys. Um, well, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Joshua Ansley. Uh, <clears throat> and I have decided to do a vlog because I got a lot of shit to say. I gotta kind of keep it down, a little quiet, because I'm uh, at a Buddhist monastery right now and there's a service going on next door. Um, in a meditation room. Um, I, I don't think it's disrespectful. I think it's actually very respectful because I'm here and I'm working on, um, I'm trying to think about what the name of this vlog would be. Who am I? Right? You can go with spirituality, talk about science, talk about music, talk about film, talk about all the things that I love. Um, ultimately at its core, it's, it's who am I? And I, it's, is I'm not gonna pull punches. I was just sobbing my eyes out a few months, a few min minutes ago, and a few months ago, pretty much for the last few months. Um, so I'm gonna speak very honestly. I plan to probably lose friends from this, and uh, but I will not live in fear of loss. I will just think about what I'm gaining from being authentic. About 15 years ago, I had a spiritual awakening. Um, where I always joke around and say I thought I was the second coming of Christ and for those of you who've really walked the spiritual path of understanding that what I just said you know that it's not really a joke but it was just a misunderstanding of the path um, and so I, there's there's a lot of things that uh, I know that I'm gonna have to say that that, that spiritual awakening had nothing to do with, it actually had nothing to do with God. It had nothing to do with being a good person, nothing to do with being of service. All these things are great. Um, but they were all byproducts of me being authentic, of just knowing my most authentic self. It's kind of like the idea, I don't know where it was, conversations with God maybe or something, that it was like that the, the Ten Commandments were not 10 rules or laws, but rather uh, 10 ways of living that would be a result, a byproduct of actually living a spiritual life. So as you get more spiritual, which is to know yourself on a deeper level and to know yourself as one with all, then you wouldn't kill, you wouldn't steal, you know? So those are byproducts of it. And um, so, I don't know exactly what the point is of this vlog, except that I have a lot to say and I want to put it out there. So I think I'm going to let it evolve into itself. Um, so with that, I'm going to be as authentic as possible, which means I'm going to say people things that people are going to be disgusted by, things are going to be angered by, uh, but it's my authenticity. I'm not claiming to have any answers. Um, I may speak sometimes as though I do. It's just things that I've experienced, but it's... Um, I don't know. It's just, I know that I, the more I know, the more I know nothing. And that's not just saying, it's like I really recognize that. I'm, the more I know, the wider my expansive, <clears throat> the wider I see the expansive nature of everything, the infinite nature of everything, and it makes me just realize how little I do know. So it's like you step out of a room that you've been living in your whole life and see that there's a whole new building. And you realize, so the more you know now that there's more than just this room, and you know nothing about the whole building. You know, and then you step out of that building thinking that's the only thing. And you, when you know enough to know that this, the building's not the only thing, now you know you know nothing of the world. You know, and that's how I feel. Um, it will be very serious. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Um, there will be lots of laughing, lots of stupidity, lots of nonsense. Um, lots of what may be considered heresy. Um, but it's all an attempt to deepen my connection with life and love and truth. If you want to throw the word God in there somewhere, that can be a part of it, if that's your interpretation of it, but life, love, and truth. <clears throat> and to be of service through that. So, I don't know, here we are in Woodstock, New York at this Buddhist monastery and I was just weeping my eyes out. Uh, and that's pretty much all I have to say for right now. So I love you guys and I'll be back soon. It's gonna be about five minutes, 4.58, 4.59.
Too much?